Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have a square root of m into square root of m into square root of m plus square root of m equals to 10 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here the very first step we are going to do is here first we uh, just simplify this equation and you see here we have a square root of m is multiplied by here three times. So uh, we just write this expression as a square root of uh, m and its whole cubed plus this is becomes square root of m equals to 10. And after that here we need uh, some simplification. So now we convert this radical equation into the simple cubic form. So, uh, so that here we just take uh, y equals to square root of m. So when we take y equals to square root of m then our above equation is written as in this form y cubed plus y equals to 10 and now you see here this equation will become cubic in y variable so that here we move this plus 10 in the left hand side and it is written as y cubed plus y minus 10 equals to 0. And now further here uh, we solve this cubic equation so now we focus on this minus 10 and here we break this minus 10 and we write this minus 10 as y cubed plus y minus 8 minus 2. We write this minus 10 as minus 8 minus 2 because minus 8 minus 2 is equals to minus 10 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, we uh, just rearrange the terms. And we combine the term y cubed with minus 8 and it is written as y cubed minus 8 plus here we have this is y minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here you see that we have y cubed minus 8 and we write this 8 as 2 cubed and plus y minus 2 equals to 0. So further here we need a, a nice cubic formula and you know about uh, this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So here we use this nice cubic formula to the above term so uh, our first factor is written as in this form so first we have a minus b and here you have our a is y and b is 2 so when we use this formula it is written as y minus 2 into this is a square and our a is y square plus 2 times of y plus b square so b is 2 square and plus here we have y minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0. So further we have we just take common y minus 2 from both of these terms and it is written as y minus 2 times of uh, y square plus 2y plus this is 2 square is 4 and here you take common y minus 2 and we get plus 1 equals to 0. So now in the next step here we have two uh, cases the first case is we take y minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take y square plus 2y plus 5 equals to 0. So in the first case you easily get the value of y equals to 2 and now in the second case here we need to use the quadratic formula. So uh, here first we uh, focus on the first case and we have y equals to 2 and we have the value of y is square root of m and now we back substitute this value of y so when you substitute y equals to square root of m so because in order to find the value of m here we need to take the scaling on both of the sides so when you take the scaling on both of the sides then you get the value of m equals to 4 so this is the first real root of the given equation and now in order to find the other roots here we use the quadratic formula to solve to first find the uh, values of y okay so here we have the uh, coefficients of these equations are a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 5 and we know that about quadratic formula it is written as y equals to minus b plus minus 
square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a and now here we substitute the values of a b and c in this uh, quadratic formula and it is written as y equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b squared so b is 2 square minus 4 times of a c a is 1 and c is 5 and this is divided by 2 times of a and over a is equals to 1 so here we have y equals to minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 square is 4 and 4 times of 5 becomes 20 and this is divided by 2 times of 1 is 2. So here we need more simplification and it is written as minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 20 equals to minus 16 and this is divided by 2. And here we know that uh, uh, we just first break the square root on both of these terms and it is written as minus 2 plus minus square root of 16 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So here we have y equals to minus 2 plus minus square root of 16 becomes 4 and square root of minus 1 becomes iota and here we just break this fraction and we write these two terms separately on both of these values okay so here uh, we have the value of y equals to minus 1 these are gone and you get plus minus this is 2 times of 2 is 4 and minus 1 plus minus 2 iota so these are the other two complex uh, values of the given equation and now here again we back substitute the values of y and we know that y equals to square root of m so we uh, when you substitute the value of y here it is written as minus 1 plus minus 2 iota so uh, here because in order to find the values of m we need to take the square on both of the sides in this way after taking the square here we have m equals to minus 1 plus minus 2 iota and its whole square uh, so here we just break these two values and we write it as m equals to minus 1 plus 2 iota and its whole square and here we write m equals to minus 1 and minus 2 iota and its whole square so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have the first real root is m equals to 4 so this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos